Hey y'all and welcome back to another video by Umbra's Darkness. Thank you guys so much for the support. We're over 300 subscribers. So this video will be a giveaway video for a $20 Google Play giveaway. You guys want more giveaways? Just keep sharing, liking those videos. Uh, every 100 subscribers we will be giving away a $20 Google Play giveaway. Uh, the keyword for this video will be in the description below and it'll be announced later on in the video. Uh, without further ado, let's get into the topic for this video. So the topic for this video is going to be development ant tier list, development ant tier list. Uh, this is the very first video that was actually requested. I had no idea how to do it, you guys. Um, so it took me a long time. I apologize to that person for taking so long, but I didn't want to really release something that was uh, not to the best of my capabilities. I did a lot of research into this. I did interject a little bit of personal opinion into it, but all tier lists are a little bit of personal opinion. Uh, but the very beginning of my tier list uh, is going to be very factually based. Uh, very factually based. This is stri strictly the best way to do it. Uh, and then towards the end of the video, I'll let you know when it starts. I will talk about my personal opinion uh, inside of the video because I think it's important to not lose myself while making these videos. All right, so before we talk about the tier list, I want to get into how to station development ants real quick. Your special ant nest right here, uh, special ant habitat. Uh, if I wanted to station every development ant possible in the game, I would need 95 points which is a level 25 special ant habitat, which obviously is a whole lot. In order to get a level 25 ant special ant habitat, my queen has to be level 25, my special nest has to be level 25, and then I'd be able to level up my special ant habitat to level 25. And when you first make queen 25, that is not your priority. Your priority should be getting T9s, so carrier barrack or whatever your ant is, to uh, level 25, your evolution fungi to level 24, and your cocoon mediums higher and higher and higher. Uh, so as you can see, I recommended stopping in between 15 and 17. I now have them all to level 18. I'm done basically with server versus server uh, for the week, but next week I'll keep going uh, because I want to save as much resources as I can for T9 carriers, because I should be unlocking that uh, this week, just in time for kill event. Anyways, enough about my account, let's get into this tier list. So if I look at my special ant nest, uh, and I look at my stationing points, at level 1 I get 10 points. Uh, I would probably level this up as I got the critical ants, right? So I would only level this up when needed in order to station the critical ants. Uh, and the critical ants are the factually best mathematically based off of diamond cost to resource to spore to there's a whole bunch of math into it that I don't wish to bore you guys with but uh, one as you get those special ants it would be worth leveling this uh, the special ant habitat up and the required obvious uh, special nest up in order to station those ants. So, the most important ants here are the military affair ants. Uh, real quick, before we deep dive into the military affair ants and what skills to unlock and which ones matter, uh, I want to talk about pay to win. Pay to win, before you worry about the military affair ants, there are two other ants that are way more important, and I apologize to my free to play players. This is going to take about 30 seconds. Atrus Glider. Uh, in order to station Atreus Glider or add a leaf cutter, you need to have the light contract one time. Uh, in order for him to be stationed, you have to have the construction building. You do not have to have it active, you just have to have the construction building. Uh, so as long as you have the light contract one time, you can station at Atreus Glider. Uh, the only skill that matters, don't buy one copy of Atreus Glider. You're going to have to buy two. Uh, you can do this multiple different ways. You can... Get him through fragments twice. Don't do that if you're a pay-to-win player. You can get him through the special ant investments. 
Uh, right, the exclusive hatch uh, hatch packs, address leaf glider, uh, leaf glider pops up there. Or you can get him through the $1 avatar of your choice all the way up to the construction special ant, which this is the construction special ant. Uh, that one does add up to like 250 ish dollars. It's a $1 pack, a $10 pack, I believe, a $50 pack, a $100 pack where you get a golden armor, and a $100 pack where you get that just leaf cutter. If you are a uh, gratification immediate person, my recommendation would be to buy it through the $250 uh, way, $270. $280 way that I just described to you. Uh, and then one copy from the exclusive ant hatch for another $100. Um, that's how I got mine. So just trying to be honest with you, it's probably the most efficient way to get it. Uh, there used to be a way that you could buy fragments and buy, get it through there. And then it was like $250 for two copies of Atreus Glider. As far as I could tell, it doesn't exist anymore. It was removed from the game. So $350, $370 is the cheapest way to get two copies of Atreus Leaf Glider as fast as possible. Uh, if you are a patient person and can wait three weeks, you could only spend $200, right? Get one Atreus Glider the first time, second Atreus Glider uh, three weeks later when it pops up again in the exclusive hatch packs. Uh, so... Skill 6, only skill that matters. If you're not unlocking skill 6, don't bother to spend Atreus Glider. Uh, for the lower free-to-play play, or uh, pay-to-win players, add a Leaf Cutter. Uh, you can get it through the Fragment Shop, or uh, if you buy the Special Ant Growth Pack uh, two times, right? So, Special Ant Growth Plan, uh, it changes every month. That you buy it. I'm on month three. As you can see, my day two is where I got my fantasy egg. Month two of the special ink growth plan. Day two, you get an add a leaf cutter. It is the significantly cheaper, but not bad version of the Atros Glider. Uh, building techniques, building resource costs, minus 10%. Uh, instead of minus 20%. But it costs, you know, significantly less to get, so... All right, uh, my, for my free-to-play players or people that are like, wow, that's a lot of money, uh, I totally feel you. I totally understand you. Uh, if I wasn't a cl crazy lunatic, I would have never bought them myself. Uh, thinking about how much money that is is disgusting. All right, now, so those are the two pay-to-win ants. They should be stationed no matter what. The second you get them, whenever you're doing a building, about to do a building, station them. Uh, now the tier list goes into the same for free to play or pay to win, uh, military affairs. If the development ant is not in military affairs, it does not deserve to get stationed until you are queen 25 and you have six combat ants maxed out. Uh, you want six combat ants maxed out the way, just based off of the best way to do PVP, uh, which I can go over in a different video, but you want six combat ants maxed out, and then you invest into uh, development ants that aren't inside of military affairs. The development ants you want to invest into that are inside of mili for military affairs is whichever gold ant is for your troop type, so for me, urchin ant. Whichever blue ant is for your troop type, so for me, strobe ant. And then crimson healer, uh, which you'll get as you go uh, as a raider, um, and you can get from the fragment shop. Same with urchin ant, you can get from the fragment shop. Uh, and then there's the cheaper cousins, right? So these three are the free-to-play versions, right? So blue and green, free-to-play. Uh, Crimson healer, urchin ant, also free-to-play, but they take a lot longer, and I'll go over how to get them uh, in a moment. Or I'll go over how to get them right now. So, mathematically, uh, every six weeks, I will get 2,940 fragments. In order to get an Urchin Lant, I need 1,200 fragments. In order to get a Crimson Healer, I need 1,200 fragments. So, within the first six weeks of gameplay, I should have one Urchin Ant and one Crimson Healer. Or, 
if I am a Raider class, I'll get Crimson Healer naturally, and I don't need to worry about purchasing a Crimson, Crimson Healer through Fragment Shop. The Fragment Shop, if anyone doesn't know, is located inside of your special nest. Uh, it rotates on a six-week schedule. I really wish there was a place where I could show you guys, um, but... It's two weeks of Crimson Healer, and then it's two weeks of of Urchin Ant, Acid Ant, and Flat Ant, or Flat General. And then it's two weeks of I don't even remember because they're not important ants. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, so it's a six-week road. It's six weeks with two weeks on, four weeks off, two weeks on, four weeks off. Uh, which is why I did the math here for two weeks on four weeks off you'll have 2940 fragments as a free-to-play player if you are pay to win your math goes slightly up and you add in 90 fragments uh, times six so you get 90 fragments a week from the from the uh, force of life force of vigor whatever it's called for that week pack uh, in the $20 line and you get 3,480, which, if you notice here, does not change how many ants you get every six weeks for the first time. It'll change it in the future. All right, so that's how to get the ants free-to-play and why I say this is free-to-play. Yes, it'll take you longer, uh, but there's a reason why I say get to Queen 20, and then after you get to Queen 20, do every CA possible, or do three CAs possible a week, a day, so that way you can get your fragments, you can station your gold special ants, which will save you lots of resources. Uh, so, again, military affairs. Uh, military affairs are the only special ants that you should be investing in before you have six combat ants maxed out. After you have six combat ants maxed out, do whatever you want. Do produce, do manage, do military affairs, do whatever you want, right? I have six combat ants, and so I'm leveling up random stupid things as much as I want. But in, uh, until you have six combat ants maxed out, only military affairs. With that being said, our code word is, or our giveaway word is going to be military ants first. Uh, I will leave that in the description below as well. Military ants uh, with an S first military ants first okay uh so with that being said uh you do want copies of each of them i personally would purchase three copies of urchin ant one to station and two to unlock skill five before i would purchase any copies of crimson healer skill five mathematically again i can prove the math to you guys if you want but I think it would be a bore to most people. So skill five mathematically saves you more diamonds than skill six does when talking about T9 troops. I'm not talking about T8. Uh, technically on T8, skill six saves you more diamonds than skill five does. Uh, but I'm talking about T9 because as a free to play or light spend player, you won't be unlocking skill five or skill six for a long time. I'm not unlocking my skill five uh, until I'm about to hit T9s. I hit T9s this week, and I will get my third copy of Urchin Ant next week. So, anyways, mathematically, uh, T9, skill five uh, is what you should unlock for whichever special ant, right? Whichever gold special ant is your preferred. Uh, and then you should get five or four copies of Crimson Healer. So, if you're a Raider class, you'll be working on this naturally. Uh, through class evolution uh, and then you want to station crimson healer obviously and then three copies to efficient auto healing uh, the cost of honeydew is insane i really do not value crimson healer uh, very highly right now while they're still re reimbursing you uh, for all of the resources spent on healing during ke once that stops, though, Crimson Healer will be very important. Uh, I still think that your Golden Ant for whatever you're hatching is more important. Uh, so if I were a Carrier main, which I am, 
uh, I would be doing Urchin Ant, three copies, Crimson Healer, four copies, and then I'd be working on my Acid Ant, three copies. Uh, that is personally how I would do it. Uh, I have copies of all of these ants, uh, and that is because I am a filthy pay-to-win player. Uh, ignore me. I'm sorry. I suck. I know. Uh, so I think that gives you guys an idea. Without further ado, I would like to show you guys the tier list that I have come up with. And at this point, the facts, the diamonds, the math, everything that I have said to this point is factually based. I have talked best investment um, and everything else after this point is all opinion based you guys can roast me in the comments below dm me on discord tell me i'm the worst person ever and i have no idea what i'm talking about that's totally fine this is purely opinion based purely what i believe is best all right this is my tier list uh development answer <laughs> way too busy um in order to show you or in order to make like a tier list of development ants in general so i did a tier list of every individual skill i went so far into as to like my personal play style is i play this game once every like 12 hours uh well okay i play the game very consistently very often right but uh i play like my alt and my farms once every like 12 hours uh, so I built this, the new play style would mean that I'd have to play the account a lot more common. And that's because these, these skills right here require you to activate them once every eight hours. Any other skill that requires an activation is once every 22 hours, which for me, I just do all of those skills right at reset because that's super easy for me. But these ones are once every eight hours, which realistically you're going to activate twice a day. Um, but they're still very good. They're still a yellow item. They're not red. So it's worth noting that they're good. Um, military special ants obviously come first. Uh, skill two for both of them is hatch speed. That's why they're green. Uh, I think hatch speed is super duper duper important. However, for the gold ants, uh, skill five, the resource reduction, way more important, way, way, way more important. You guys, uh, Again, mathematically, skill 5 better than skill 6. That's why I have skill 6 as like a good use, right? It gets to that total cap uh, of how fast you can hatch your ants. But it's 3 copies. That's what the minus 3 means. Uh, this is where my orange ants, or all my development ants, all these numbers in here, uh, is where my development ants stood before last special day. They're higher than they are, or this is lower than what they are right now but i wanted to see where i was um so i have i don't value meat at all so i have all the meat uh special ants red uh i think that they're awful i wouldn't invest into them uh the green universal ants are <laughs> wild uh one isn't worth it at all slender ant isn't worth it at all and brown glider it's like if you must uh there's there's one skill right here uh that that's there one sec we'll go look at that actually uh <laughs> it is a rapid plant production plus 1.9 percent uh it does look like i made a mistake with brown glider he only has three skills uh he doesn't have a skill that gains him experience because he's universal and you use him for combat which is why these skills are red they're awful I apologize for making a mistake in the tier list. Uh, I just, when I got down to the green special ants, they are so bad. Uh, I kind of lost track of what I was doing. But as you can see, the last of them, I did not make that same mistake with. I don't know how Brown Glider uh, got through the cracks, but what can I say? I'm human. So, there you go. Um, as you can see, I didn't make that mistake with any of the rest of them, but... Hey man, I'm human. Roast me in the comments below. Uh, I'm sure that you guys will have something to say about that. Uh, anyways, uh, so ignoring the military special ants because obviously they are super duper important. Um, you can see that I've I don't value meat at all. I get a bunch. 
Uh, I probably wouldn't value plant as much if I was not a carrier main, but I go through a poop whack of leaves as a carrier main. Um, my wife is a shooter main, and uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm going to, after this video, drop out of my alliance and hit my wife. She has 200 million plants. I need uh, a bunch of plants in order to get the evolutions that I want. So she's going to let me drop out of the alliance, hit her uh, for like 50 million plants, in order to have some plants saved up for evolutions. Y'all, if you're a shooter main, probably wouldn't invest into plants. But as a carrier main, which is what this tier list, this portion of the tier list is developed for, right? Personal opinion, uh, what skills are important. I would definitely invest into plants. I never have enough plants. Um, I think that it is important to realize that skill 4, 5, and 6 of purple ants do require copies of themselves. So if you are recycling uh, ants that you are hatching, right, if you're redeeming for spores and you redeem purples like I do, I would not be so crazy to redeem these skills uh, without having them unlocked just because even if they're unlocked and you never use them at least they're there in case they get a buff at least they're there for when you reach queen 25 and you have nothing else to do and you're not just stuck like i am hoping to get them because i will never buy them from the fragment shop i have way too many other things to buy like my urchin ant my flat shield and my acid ant right uh Thorn Ant also requires copies. Uh, I have a couple of people that have DM'd me about Atreus Glider. His skill 6 requires one copy. His skill 7 and his skill 8 require copies. Uh, his skill 5 only requires one gold shell. It doesn't require a copy at all. Uh, and then Crimson Healer, like I said, skill 6, super duper important. Skill 5, super bad. Skill 4, it's okay. Nice to have, not required. Um, but skill 6, super duper important. Um, again, this list, these colors are all my personal opinion. Feel free to tell me whatever you guys want. I'm sure someone's going to have a critique and tell me that they, they think that it's all jacked up, but this is my personal opinion. This is how I'll be upgrading them, uh, and how I did upgrade them last special ant day. Uh, it's the guide that you guys have been asking me for in Discord and DMing me and that I've shared with a few of you guys. So hopefully you like my explanation. Before I showed this guide, I talked pure math. Uh, I was talking no opinion, just pure math. What is best? Uh, military Special Lance, Crimson Healer, and then for pay to win, Atreus Glider, add a leaf color cutter. Uh, again... The code word for the $20 Google Play giveaway is military ants first. Military ants first. Thank you guys for all the support. You guys rock. Uh, I think everything you guys do for me and all the support I get. I got like four DMs today on Discord telling me to keep going uh, and that they love my videos. I, I just want you guys to know that uh, those types of phone calls... Uh, really make a difference to me. Uh, they they really help motivate me. I probably wouldn't have done this video today if it weren't for uh, those types of DMs. So to those people, you know who you are. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoy this. I will be starting the series uh, of day-to-day -day server versus server uh, guides. Uh, each day will be an in-depth guide, probably 10 to 15 minutes long. Uh, some of them might be faster than others, but I'll try to go as in-depth as possible in order to get points. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys. As always, you can leave me a comment in the uh, YouTube video. You can message me on Discord. My username will be in the description below. Or, worst case scenario, like I always say, you can message me on, on 174. I'm always there, you guys. Always looking in the shadows. As always, stay humble, stay happy, stay hungry. Until next time, bye, y'all.